This is going to be quite the video because you see these two devices, this one and this one are more alike than you think. They're both tablets that are extremely powerful for as thin as they are. They both offer a detachable keyboard and they both offer pencil support with a second generation Apple Pencil and the Microsoft Surface Pen. They're both very similarly priced, so which one is better, Apple's flagship tablet or Microsoft's flagship tablet? And I know which one you guys might think is better and spoiler, it's actually the other one. Okay, so in a previous video I compared the new iPad Pro 2018 versus a 2018 top-of-the-line 15-inch i9 MacBook Pro just to see which one is more powerful and, you know, from which one you can actually do more work from. So do check out that video in case you guys missed it. It's pretty cool and the results are even more interesting than the video itself. Now, since these two devices are so, so similar, we should start off with, well, what makes them different? So first off, we have the accessories. Both the Surface Pro 6 and the new 2018 iPad Pro support a pencil, which has to be bought separately in both cases. So the Apple Pencil second Second generation costs 130 pounds, while the Surface Pen costs 100 pounds. Now, in terms of which one is better, the Surface Pen feels better, as in, you know, it's chunkier, so it's a bit easier to hold. It also has an eraser on the top, which is awesome, as well as a button that allows you to switch between uh, multiple brushes and more. The Apple Pencil also comes with a gesture area now, and they both attach magnetically to the side of the device, which is an amazing feature to have. So this is something that was actually missing from the previous iPad Pros, and Microsoft has been doing this for many, many years. The Apple Pencil does also charge and pair automatically when it's attached to the side of the iPad, which the Microsoft Surface Pen doesn't. So the Surface Pen actually requires some actual physical batteries, which really Microsoft in 2018, really? I know you're doing this with the Xbox One controller still, but really. And then the Surface Pen is also based on Wacom tech, which means that you don't really need batteries in order for it to work. So the batteries are only needed for Bluetooth and being able to use those buttons. So yeah, other than that, um, yeah, the Surface Pen isn't as advanced as the Apple Pencil, which actually constantly talks to the iPad and even predicts where it would be every fraction of a second. So the Apple Pencil is overall the better pen. However, it's nowhere near perfect. So it still feels like you're using the pencil on a glass when you're trying to draw or write something on it. So there's almost Almost no grip at all. But luckily this can be easily solved with Paperlike, our sponsor for this video. So Paperlike is this really thin screen protector that you apply to the iPad and it makes the entire Apple Pencil experience on the iPad feel like real paper instead of the slippery feel that you normally have. So if you're a digital artist you can be far more precise when using apps such as Procreate or Affinity Photo and then if you're a student or a business user you can take notes longer without your hand cramping up or literally for anyone with the Apple Pencil the Paperlike will provide a much more natural and intuitive feel when using it. It's pretty cool and as a bonus, it also sounds like real paper when you're writing or drawing on the display. Paperlike also offers a 100% money back guarantee, so definitely give it a try and decide if it's something for you. Uh, use the link in the description or the coupon code 10 zot for 10% discount when ordering your Paperlike. And thanks again uh, to Paperlike for sponsoring this video. So that's the pencil, but what about the keyboard? So both the Surface Pro 6 and the iPad Pro 2018 support a flip keyboard cover, uh, which same as with the pencil, it does have to be bought separately. So the Apple Smart Folio cover costs 180 pounds for the 11 inch model and 200 pounds for the 12.9 inch iPad Pro, whereas the Microsoft Surface Pro type cover costs 100 pounds. So yeah, quite a big difference between the two. Uh, the iPad cover keyboard is twice more expensive than the Microsoft Surface Pro 6, so it should be twice as good. Or is it? So in terms of which one's better, the Surface Keyboard is not only have the cost, but also light years ahead of the iPad Pro's cover. This thing is so, so good when compared to the iPad one. Okay, so first of all, the keys feel amazing. The iPad Pro has this mushy feel on the keyboard, whereas the Surface Pro 6 keyboard has actual keys with even more travel than the MacBook Pro. So yeah, it's crazy how much key travel Microsoft has managed to include in this really tiny uh, and thin cover. Then second, the keys are also backlit, so you know, you can comfortably type and see at night, which again, the iPad Pro keyboard does not. Third, you also get function keys for brightness, volume, and so on, which are missing from the iPad Pro's keyboard. Then number four, the Surface Cover also comes with an actual trackpad, which also clicks. The iPad Pro doesn't even support a mouse at all. So yeah, 
While the Apple Pencil is a tiny bit better than the Surface Pen, the Surface Keyboard completely destroys the iPad Keyboard in every single way. Also, don't forget that the iPad Pro Keyboard is twice the price of the Microsoft Surface one. Okay, so I talked about the accessories, now let's talk about the ports. And here's where it gets really interesting. So the iPad Pro has a USB Type-C port and also uh, nothing else, actually, that, that's pretty much it. USB Type-C port and that's that's it. No headphone jack anymore. While well, the Surface Pro 6 comes with Microsoft's proprietary charging port, a USB 3.0 Type-A port, as well as a mini display port, a headphone jack, and the micro SD card slot as well, hidden underneath the, um, the hinge. Now, while the iPad Pro's USB Type-C port should be on paper, at least, uh, better than, you know, all the Surface Pro ports combined, it's, it's really not. The iPad Pro does not support external hard drives, and connecting to a monitor is completely pointless right now. So it basically mirrors the iPad's display. Also, it doesn't even support 16 by 9 aspect ratios. So yeah, unless you're a teacher and you need to present something to your class, there's no point in connecting the iPad Pro to second monitor because you also have to be constantly looking at the iPad anyways because it doesn't support a mouse. So your eyes won't be on the monitor, your eyes would be on the actual iPad because that's where the controls also are. The Surface Pro 6, however, is a completely different story because you can connect multiple 4K monitors to this. You can even connect Microsoft Surface Dock to the charging port and get extra ports such as these ones. Yes, USB Type-C is better overall, but the reality is that you can do so, so much more with a Surface Pro 6. And here's where the main difference lies. So if you look at the Geekbench scores, everyone is pointing those out. The iPad Pro does blow the Surface Pro 6 out of the water, but it is running iOS, which means that you're heavily, heavily limited in terms of what you can do with this. Full Photoshop, yes on the Surface, no for the iPad Pro. Uh, that's actually coming out soon. It's not really the full version still. Uh, full Adobe Premiere, again, yes for the Surface, no for the iPad. Uh, and then any Windows, any desktop app, yes for the Surface Pro. And the iPad is basically limited to more mobile iOS apps. And then the browsing experience is also entirely different. You get the mobile browser, the mobile Safari engine browser on the iPad versus a full desktop browser on the Surface. So here's the thing. I actually bought the previous 10.5 inch iPad Pro last year in October just to see if I could replace my 12 inch MacBook. And it was a two month experiment and I couldn't. I was extremely limited and I couldn't do all of my work with it and the work that I could do, I was able to do so much faster and easier from an actual laptop than from an iPad. So file management is a pain to use on the iPad, mouse support is non-existent, again multiple monitor support and display extension is again non-existent and the story repeats itself with the 2018 iPad Pro. So you have so much performance but it's mostly untapped because of how restricted iOS is. So I think I want to end it with this. The iPad Pro is a tablet that's trying to be a laptop and it fails. The Surface Pro 6 is a laptop that's trying to be a tablet and it kind of fails, but it does a better job at that than the iPad does at trying to be a laptop. So yeah, if you need a laptop first that also has some tablet features, then get a Surface. And if you need a tablet that also has some laptop features, such as, you know, physical a keyboard, uh, and that's pretty much it, then get the iPad Pro. But as a tablet, the iPad Pro is indeed better in every single way. Uh, and as a laptop, the Surface Pro 6 is better in every single way. And even as a tablet, if you take a look at a Surface Pro 6, even though it's heavier than the iPad uh, and a bit more uncomfortable to use, it does come with that kickstand, which is a huge, huge deal because you can pretty much place that anywhere at any angle you want. Whereas with the iPad, you have to, you know, constantly hold it unless you buy uh, the smart cover, which is going to cost you again extra and you don't have that infinitely adjustable uh, kickstand so yeah even as a tablet the surface pro 6 has quite some advantages over the ipad pro especially with that kickstand but yeah microsoft's uh, touch input recognition and accidental touch rejection is really bad so yeah if you need a tablet first again buy the ipad pro not a surface pro 6 otherwise if you need the laptop first surface pro 6 and then the ipad pro i mean for me personally the surface pro 6 has fully replaced both my ipad pro as well as my 12 inch MacBook. And I think, I think this says something. But yeah, let me know in the comments what are your thoughts on all this. Uh, have you ever used a Surface device? If so, I left the link for everything in the description in case you're interested in you know, getting something and also supporting the channel. Uh, but yeah, I really wanna know your thoughts on especially the iPad Pro being used as a computer. Do you think that's possible? Like I said, it is possible, but you're very, very limited. Check out the previous video that I did uh, with the iPad Pro 2018 versus the 2018 i9 top of the line MacBook Pro and see how those two compare in terms of what you can do on a daily basis. So that's a pretty interesting video to watch. Definitely subscribe and notifications, tap that bell icon if you want to get notified as soon as a brand new video comes out. 
Um, and yeah, this has been pretty much it. Stay tuned for more in-depth videos. Thanks for watching, hit that like. I'm Daniel, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Zenofec, signing out.